The road to tomorrow, making Interstate 70 in Missouri the highway of the future. That means MoDOT is open to innovative ideas and new technology. Imagine if the pavement you drive on would never ice over, didn't have potholes, the lines light up on their own, and the pavement would generate electricity. A small company from Idaho named Solar Roadways is making an impression on MoDOT Introducing solar pavement to the show me state. HEC TV's Rod Milam has the story. Icy roads, potholes, exorbitant electric bills. Other than being disliked, what else could these three problems possibly have in common? It may be they all share the same solution. Imagine if the roads we drive on, just like the leaves of a tree, could absorb photons emitted from the sun to generate energy. Sound too good to be true? Well, a small business out of Idaho named Solar Roadways claims to have figured it out, and Missouri's Department of Transportation is taking an interest. They invited co-founder and scientific mind behind Solar Roadways, Scott Brusaw, to their Transportation Management Center. He's helping them set up for some solar testing. We manufacture solar panels that you can drive on or park on, so we can take our panels, they're about 4.39 square feet each in the shape of a hexagon, and you can build parking lots and sidewalks and uh, roadways, bike paths, anything you want out of them. Our panels are made in layers. We have a top and bottom glass layer. It's tempered glass, it's half inch thick, and we laminate our electronics in between. We did that because if you look up bulletproof glass or bomb resistant glass, it's made with layered tempered glass. That's exactly how it's made. So basically, we've got a bulletproof or bomb resistant road. Bruce Hall says they're durable and create electricity. No wonder MoDOT's interested. Its Transportation Management Center is an informational hub monitoring Missouri's roadways. And now, they're keeping an eye on something else, solar data. Brusaw is installing two conventional solar panels outside the center. While these can't bear the weight of a vehicle, the principles of photon absorption with solar roadways innovation remain the same. By testing these rooftop solar panels, and we've got one that's angled toward the sun and one that's flat. With the information we gather here, we'll be able to accurately tell them how much energy this parking lot will produce at this particular location. These tests will help MoDOT determine if solar roadways are a viable option for their Road to Tomorrow initiative. They're seeking new innovations and ideas on how to rebuild Interstate 70 to be a highway for the 21st century. They've got 200 miles of I-70 they'd like to put advanced cutting edge technology on. If they were to do that 200 miles with our panels, we haven't calculated how much energy that would produce yet, but it'd be enormous, can probably take every business and home along that highway completely off grid. MoDOT invited us down here to install this. We're gonna go out and look at some of the rest areas along I-70 where they want to start off with rest areas and then eventually possibly do 200 miles of I-70 in their Road to Tomorrow project. Besides the enormous economic effects of generating so much electricity, Brusaw says these panels would change a driver's experience on the road. For starters, they offer a variety of safety features, one of which are LED lights that would improve nighttime driving. But the advancements don't stop there. You don't have potholes anymore. Uh, our systems can vary. Our panels are modular, and the uh, DOTs love that. They're also intelligent. They talk to each other. So if one stops communicating for any reason, say it was damaged, the other ones, its neighbors would report it in. I weigh about 70 pounds, so I could throw one in the back of my car, drive out there, pull the old one out, put the new one in, reprogram it, and drive off in less than five minutes. And the difference is, for instance, if you patch a pothole, you've got a fix that's not as good as it was the day the road was new. With our system, when you put that new panel on, it's brand new again. The other thing it does is our panels prevent snow and ice accumulation, which means no more snow plowing, no more chemicals. The chemicals that are currently used by state DOTs, for instance, include the salt and magnesium chloride, beet juice, things like this. Salt, for instance, we all know corrodes our vehicles. And as far as I know, with the except, possible exception of the beet juice, they all have an environmental impact on the surrounding uh, green life, if you will. Using our panels would cut down on uh, damage to vehicles and it would really help the environment in more ways than we can say, not just the absence of the chemicals, but imagine if our roads are creating green energy from the sun as opposed to providing energy via burning coal or nuclear power, we're creating one that is renewable energy. Along with the environmental and safety aspects of solar roadways, the ability to generate clean, renewable energy makes these panels an exciting option for MoDOT's Road to Tomorrow initiative. Could I-70 be the first highway of its kind to generate clean, renewable solar energy? Finding that answer all starts with these tests. For Innovations, I'm Rod Milam.